I'm JB, I'm the guy who's usually behind the camera. I'm filling in today. I'm here with Lance Hornby, par excellence writer for the Toronto Sun hockey writer. Uh, Lance, uh, the hockey wheel's moving around, goaltenders are moving, we see Georgiev going to the Avalanche, we've seen Billy Husso going to Detroit, and what the heck is this, Matt Murray? Well, people are wondering how on earth we got here, Jack. That's a, uh, you know, the, the, the big question. Uh, Matt Murray has obviously had some concussion problems. He's uh, not been at his Stanley Cup form while in Ottawa. In fact, they demoted him at one stage. He's got all these concussion issues going on. But uh, there is a trail here, and it starts with uh, Kyle Dubas back in uh, Sault Ste. Marie 11 years ago. Murray was his goaltender, ironically, at a time when Jack Campbell was uh, also in the Sioux. What's happened now, of course, is that Campbell's a little bit too rich for the uh, Maple Leafs' blood. Unless they pull something off between now and the start of free agency, they're not going to have enough money to sign him. So they're trying to work a deal with Murray and the uh, Ottawa Senators, and uh, the particulars are being put together. There's medical issues to get through, but it could be that uh, Matt Murray switches sides in the Battle of Ontario. That's an interesting look at things. Uh, Lance, we've got uh, the draft. I had a bunch of drafts during the draft, but that's here nor there. Uh, we've got some free agent frenzy coming yeah. up this week. Tell us a little bit about what you think may happen. Well, I think one of the uh, signature moves will be where Johnny Gaudreau ends up. Uh, Johnny you know, Hockey, yeah. yeah. Calgary has uh, such a, uh, you know, has such a pull on him. He's uh, from, you know, he's been able to be such a big part of their uh, offense and part of the city for a long time. But he's an American kid. It is free agency. Uh, and uh, there are some, you know, there's not going to be any lack of... Uh, of teams wanting him uh, on Wednesday, and I think they're, uh, you know, American teams are going to uh, be coming hard after him. Perhaps he wants to go back to the East, and the domino effect, Jack, is what happens with players like uh, Tuchuk and other another Flames. Uh, we've got another guy, uh, Claude Giroux. He's yeah. uh, he's up for grabs, right? For uh, sure. You know what? I mean, it, it didn't quite work out with the Stanley Cup in Florida after the big trade with Philly. Rats. Lots of teams are uh, in the uh, in the mix for uh, for Giroux. It may be a Canadian team. He does have ties to Ottawa. He has, uh, you know, other. Uh, teams uh, looking for him on the, on the uh, U.S. Uh, East Coast, obviously not going back to uh, Philadelphia, but there is a uh, huge interest in Giroux. He is a player who might be able to make that, uh, make push a team over the cup, uh, over the cup line, uh, given his history. And it's summertime right now. There's not much hockey going on, is there? Or is there stuff coming up? You know what? Uh, as you can uh, as you can see by the beautiful background behind us, uh, it is uh, summertime. And once the draft uh, and free agents get over this week, it'll be back to more relaxed uh, pace. However, there is World Juniors coming up next month uh, in Edmonton in August, and then uh, Leaf Development Camp uh, next week as well. Beyond that, uh, September training camp. So it's not that far at all until we get back on the ice.